If in middle school, my talent had made me a star, in high school, it became clear that wasn't enough. I had to get better, work harder, improve as a dancer, and learn how to act. I spent my sophomore year of Kappa well outside my comfort zone. On the very first day, I was cornered by the head of the drama department, Peggy Hughes, a pistol of a woman with short, cropped blonde hair. She was a bit of a broad, as we say in the business. She clutched a notepad and she came straight to the point. I hear you want to be on stage, to act, to be in musicals. Here's what I propose. Come to the drama department. But I'm in the music department, I told her. I'm a singer. You're much more than a singer. You want to be on stage, kid? Well, yes. Yes, I do. Leave the music department behind. Come and try the drama department for a semester. Miss Hughes said she'd put me in her production of Our Town by Thornton Wilder. I had never heard of it. In the role of Mr. Webb. And promised I could head back to the music department if I didn't like it. Well, I thought that was a wonderful proposition. So, I showed up and realized that, once again, I was late to the game. I had no idea what I was doing. That year, I would learn that acting was not just about memorizing a set of lines and projecting them with clarity and flair. It wasn't just a high-end version of mimicry, either. It was very much about the actor's level of humanity and empathy. It was a profound form of communion with the characters you were playing, as well as with the audience. Finding an honest, heartfelt path between yourself and your character was just one aspect of the work. Miss Hughes was an incredible acting teacher and director. She really worked with us and cared for us and helped us understand the many ways our town, which on the surface seemed quaint and sentimental, an homage to conventional values, was a radical departure from traditional theater and a very subversive work. It was a remarkable introduction to acting because it hurled me straight into the fire. I didn't have a single crutch at my disposal. There was no curtain, no scenery, no props, no glitzy costumes, no high drama, no comedy, and, most terrifying, no singing. At the end of the semester, though I had not been in a musical, I sensed that Miss Hughes's intuition had led me in the right direction, that the drama department held a set of lessons that would be essential for me. I decided to stay, and I transferred from the music department for the duration of my time at Kappa. I also remained committed to my ever more demanding dance regime. One of my friends at Kappa, Curtis Clark, was an extraordinary dancer and a continual inspiration to me. There were also a couple of teachers at the school who had started their own dance studio downtown. Buddy Thompson taught jazz dance, and Leslie Anderson taught ballet. Buddy and Leslie knew me from school, so I gathered my courage and approached them about the possibility of training with them at their own First Side Studios, even though the tuition was beyond my means. They could not have given me a scholarship faster. Angels. The angels who were in my life. So now I rose at 6 a.m., attended two different schools, Then took the bus downtown, where I took three or four dance classes per evening. Then I'd take the bus home, wolf down a very late dinner, do my homework, and try to be in bed by 1 a.m., only to wake up five hours later and do it all over again. Can't have nothing if you don't work for it. I learned my work ethic from the generations before me. My Aunt Dorothy always told me, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. I was getting ready for the world and I was willing to do whatever it took. And I reminded myself it was also the only way to get the fashions I required. To this end, Curtis told me of a job he had had the previous summer performing shows at Kennywood, the amusement park that's been a mainstay in the Pittsburgh area since 1899. He was planning to work there again during the upcoming summer, and I resolved to join him if I could. As much as I enjoyed being a mini-star with the Civic Light Opera, I knew I needed a real summer job once school let out, one that paid real coinage. 